Invisible friend Doug. Yeah, that's fine. That's Godot versus Matador, though. That's what's important. And we are starting off on the final destination. And Matador getting nice up tilts, pivoting around. <laughs> and using the down air, uh, Godot trying to zone out. And using the forward tilts. Josh, you can, you can if you want to. I don't care. And we got the KO punch online for the young Matador. Gonna use these rapid jabs as well. Matador may look to find the scale punch. Gonna look for the two frame with the down smash. And whiffing right here. And gonna get the up smash for the KO. And the KO punch is still online. I believe he gets just a few down tilts. This may be curtains for Godot's first game. Matador playing pretty well. This is losers round seven. And Josh, the streamer, is gonna hop on with me. He's not a smash player. Just as an FYI, guys. So if he says some, says some suspect stuff, I'll call him out. Uh, and now we got Matador rolling on back. He's got great ledge pressure right now. Uh, Goda, questionable as to why he took uh, Matador to a flat stage. This is pretty strong for Little Mac. Little Mac in a bad spot, using that good high at, uh, DI to make sure that he's able to make it back. And these Ryu throws being pretty ineffective. Oh, and that down smash is gonna do it though. So they're ineffective at killing the, uh, the young Little Mac but they are effective at setting up those ledge traps and areas. But Godot down a whole ton. Gonna need a nice edge guard most likely. And the slip counter gonna come through. Josh taking a year and a half to get ready. Uh, using those downward angle forward smashes and that forward tilt getting the kind of the kill sparks but that kind of weak send angle almost. Not quite finding a KO but we're very dangerous. And the down tilt into the up special, and that's going to finish off. That's going to be game one to Matador, finishing off game number one in pretty quick fashion. Indeed. That was a good lead for Little Mac there. It was, it was just amazing, man. He just, he just beat, he beat the living, living crap out of him, man. It was good, right? It was great. You know the, the poop emoji? That's me. That's kind of what I see when I that's, see your face. That's, the, that's my casting. That's like, the quality. That's what I hear in your, your casting right now. That's the quality of my casting. It only gets worse from here, oh ladies dear. and gentlemen. It only gets worse. I literally know nothing about this game and any technique from any character here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna educate you and edu you're gonna you're gonna do a good job asking me questions. You're gonna about educate me? Yeah, educate you. Please so, go Lilat. Please go Lilat. It's Godot's counterpick. If Matador didn't counterpick it or didn't like strike it, it's very, very likely that he will. Please, Lilat. Lilat or Final Destination? I know Final Destination is like the meme map. Final Destination's no items. Yeah, like stock. it's an old, <laughs> it's, it's an old school meme. Uh, that's from, I, that's from like uh, Melee basically. Like when you're trying to, when you're trying to challenge your friends, it's, it's like, a, it's more of a casual thing, but we are going to Lilat Cruise. This I'm happy stage, for that. Uh, it's kind of polarizing. Godot really likes it because he has a lot of the Street Fighter mechanics built into his game. Did you play any Street Fighter? No. Okay. Dude, I've never played a, a fighting game in my life. Okay. Maybe except for Tekken when I was like eight or nine, okay. but that's about so, it. So, like, you don't have any relevant, uh, like, fighting game knowledge. Zero relevant okay. knowledge about anything that's so going on So, one of the right cool now. things about uh, Ryu is his Shoryuken, uh, at least the true variant, it only has, like, normal landing lag. So, he'll be able to use true Shoryu. He'll be able to standard get up, which has invincibility. Uh, into right there, he's able to land uh, with with very minimal in landing ending lag, and that'll get you in a pretty good position. It can get you back to center stage. Now I got a question though. Yeah. What is that bar above Little Mac's portrait? Uh, that's the KO meter that uh, builds when various things happen, like when he gets hit, uh, when he delivers hits, uh, and then for five to six seconds, you'll see the KO meter, like the KO punch flash there, and it can't be eliminated no matter what. And that's a really good. That's a really good four tilt with the edge. That's two hits, which will break focus as well. Uh, focus is when uh, Ryu gets that kind of like black fire almost going around him. And right there, you can see the KO meter has been built. Uh, right now, the KO is going to be gone. Uh, he gets the KO punch. It replaces his normal Nutri B. And his no normal Nutri B has pretty limited applications. It's super duper strong. And down tilt will combo into it on a lot of characters at a lot of percents. So you go down tilt two to three times, and it kills it like 20%. It's similar to like a cloud limit if you've watched some cloud play, uh, but cloud gets to like manually charge up his limit as well as he gets limit based on him doing damage. He gets 
a third of a uh, a third of a percent of a meter from doing damage and a percentage of a meter from doing uh, from taking a percent. We th I think we talked enough about mechanics. I mean, we missed the entire comeback from Ryu here from Godot. Like Little Mac, two stock, hundred fifty percent. He was obviously going to die at some yeah. point. And Ryu, Ryu, uh, Ryu has really nice kill confirms. He's got that that elbow you keep seeing him go. That's the weak up tilt. Ryu is unique because he has uh, weak and strong tilts, uh, and the weak tilts are generally good to like combo into the stronger hits. So you'll see him go up tilt into true Shoryu, uh, which is like a, a special Street Fighter input. And Matador using that side B, flinging himself across the stage a couple times. One thing that's interesting is the tilts can make you go a various amount of distance. And that's special to lie at for our competitive stages. We got KO Punch online. This could be big. i uh, going to get the grab. Is there a range where the KO? Oh, he oh, misses the no. KO. And then he and counters that, and Little Mac gets thrown out of the stage. That's a game for that's Godot. That's a forward smash to finish it off. That's a forward smash? That forward smash. Forward that, smash. That kick right there is the forward smash. All right, well, now we're going to game three. It'll be interesting to see where we go from yep. here. Little Mac is one of the most polarizing characters. Either you, like, edge guard him to get desk because... His aerials are all really bad, and like he has a really hard time recovering. Uh, but once he's when he's on the ground, he has like really great armor moves and such powerful hits. Uh, he's like just all ground game. It's very interesting. It's very smart that he's a ground-based character like mm -hmm. that because he is a boxer. Yeah, they that, stay that's on the, the way ground. They him. I think that's very flavorful. I like it a lot. <laughs> and he's just he's using his uh, his neutral play. He's using his footsies very well, keeping Godot trapped at the corner. But the issue with that is when Godot's trapped at the corner, if he gets a reversal on Little Mac, Little Mac's is just going to die right there. He didn't have his second jump. Because once you're off stage and you, uh, you jump once, and if you get hit, you, you don't get that jump back. You just get your recovery option back. Uh, so that's excellent anti-Little Mac play, and that's a zero to death. Uh, now Godot's probably going to camp this top platform uh, because Little Mac's going to have a hard time reaching up to him. Because his aerials are so weak, it makes it such a it's very hard for him to get up there. And now that's the, the regular neutral B. That's not an option you see very often. It's a fairly, it's not a very good option. It has a lot of end lag. This is a very unfortunate game three for Little Mac here from Anador. This is kind of the way I expected the whole set to go. Like this is how, like this is sometimes, this is what you basically sign up for when you're a Little Mac me. <laughs> like, getting you're getting zoned out real quick in the first stock and then yep. hoping like you get edge to come real back. Hard. And like you have the KO punch at least. Trying to go for these down tilts to set up into it so he doesn't whiff while now, the KO punch is offline. Does the KO punch KO at every range? Uh, all percentage? Not at zero, but probably like 30-ish, 30 30-plus-ish 30 on Ryu because Ryu is pretty heavy. Okay. So it kind of it kind of depends on the character. And that's pretty tough on him there. Yep. And like that down smash. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, dead, that's dead. He actually side beat into the blast zone because he knew he was dead. He's like, I don't like I don't need to fall to my death and watch my character slowly die. So do we have Slam versus JG up next? Looks like we do have Slam versus JG. Are we doing best of three or best of five? I have no idea what time it is. Can you ask them please? Yes. Thank you. I think this is fantastic, guys. We got some great matches today. I enjoyed them very much.